Thanks for joining us, everybody. 24,324. That's how many people were arrested for DWI in 2021, just in Minnesota. In that same year, 135 people died in alcohol-related crashes. And the state says those numbers don't capture the full scope of who is driving while impaired. Drunk driving is not only against the law, it can impact lives. It is very real and it is very sad. And for the second time this year, one of the people responsible for writing the law was caught breaking it. On Friday, state troopers arrested State Representative Dan Wogamott from St. Cloud on suspicion of DWI. Tonight, John Croman has a look at what happened and other people elected representative who have been in similar situations. Hey, John. Hey, Chris. According to the State Patrol, someone called police to say they saw Representative Wolgamot drinking from a bottle in a liquor store parking lot in Kennebec County. A trooper went looking for Wolgamot's vehicle, spotted it weaving on Highway 23, according to the report, and then made the stop. He's just the latest example of a lawmaker cited for impaired driving. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails. The arrest of the third term Democrat caught more attention because he's played a higher profile role in the House as Speaker Pro Tem filling in for the House Speaker. How can they continue to make these stupid choices? Because these are choices. John Cummings of Minnesotans for Safe Driving asserts lawmakers should be held to a higher standard when it comes to impaired driving. They're the ones making the rules, you know? And especially this other guy, he's sitting on the Public Safety Committee, for God's sakes. And there's been several of them like that. They're sitting on the, they're, they know. They're writing the book. That other guy he referenced was Republican State Rep Matt Grossel of Clearwater. Well, if I had a flag that said BS on it, I'd be waving it right now. Grossel, a former sheriff's deputy, recently pled guilty to a misdemeanor DWI connected to a February 11th traffic stop. It came four years after he was arrested by St. Paul police for disorderly conduct. They never lose their jobs. You know, they never do any time. They maybe pay a little fine. Last year, DFL House member Tu Zhang was cited for a misdemeanor DWI, but he was still elected to the Senate later the same year. In 2020, Republican Senator John Chazinski was caught driving impaired in Faribault. He talked about that during the debate on marijuana. I got pulled over a couple years for alcohol-related offense. I tested a .09. So, folks, I was one beer over. One beer too many, and I've always been very careful about it. There have been many other examples throughout the years. That I'm very sorry for what, what happened. Uh, not so much for myself, I guess, for my friends and family. In 2007, the late Senator Jim Matson, who was Senate president at the time, was pulled over on his way home from the final night of the session, in which his gavel-flipping skills were on full display. And we probably learned a lot from this experience, and I think it'll make me a better person. Public apologies are essential for public figures who break the law, according to Paul Austin of the Minnesota Safety Council. If you're a law enforcement official, you've got an extraordinary level of responsibility. And, and talking about your experience, if you happen to be somebody who was driving impaired. Austin says it's not necessarily surprising when a public official is arrested for a DWI because impaired driving cuts across all socioeconomic and demographic segments of our society. I think the demographics of the impaired driver match exactly the demographics of our society and anybody who uses alcohol. Now, no formal charges yet in Dan Wolgamont's case. Uh, we did reach out to the Kennebec County Attorney haven't heard back from her yet, and of course, haven't heard back yet from Representative Wolgamont. Back to you, Chris. All right. Thank you, John.